it, Jay? <laughs> That's awesome! Woo! <laughs> oh man! Imagine getting chased up the mountainside in that police bow bow! It has been way, way too long since I've set foot back here in Dahican, the white sandy beach. It's Mati, it's Dab Oriental, and today I'm finally going home. But before that, I'm gonna go over to this restaurant here called Bawood, because my good friend Vic, who's my super rock star lawyer, uh, he invited me for lunch. So we're just gonna eat, hang out. He wanted me to see the place. And what a great excuse to come check out the coast again. Uh, it's a little bit stormy today. By stormy, I mean it's really sunny, but just super windy. Uh, in April, May, June, this is gonna get really flat. It's gorgeous. I mean, it's gorgeous today anyways, but... Let's go eat a whole bunch of food at a place called Bawood, which if you didn't know, can mean waves. That's just Sabuano, you huck in the W. It's just over here, through the coconut trees. My attorney is really fit and went for a three hour run yesterday. Hence, why we're pretty much eating everything. It's super good, geesing geesing rules, the crab thing rules, the fish relay and garlic dip rules, green mango rules. Thank you. are gonna eat your straw? Later. Rice, rice straw. Look at this straw. No way. Edible. Edible straw? Yeah. <laughs> the music, Brad. My friends from DOST just showed up around. Nice one, Brad. That's a great place. The food is awesome. Uh, I like the what was it? The crispy beef with spicy salsa, and then I had the fish fillet with garlic dip. What else did we eat? Cream. Yeah. I'm blaming you. He just yeah. eats everything because this guy. <laughs> so we had a we had salad. With the homemade ice cream. They make their own like cream ice cream stuff. It's super good. I'd come back in town by and eat here. In the meantime, no paperwork for me. I'm out of here. No paperwork. Good, good luck. Good. good luck with your running in Ironman. Yes. I'm gonna take go. Care. Oh, I gotta take care because the road collapsed. Maybe only 10 kilometers later, usually where you take the road up and around towards Tarragona, you're gonna see these signages. The road collapsed. About one week after we left Catio for our big trip, uh, it started hammering down rain. And those rains just didn't stop. And for many, many weeks, all across the Avar region, things started flooding, there's lots of landslides. Uh, here, I'm standing at a river, I think it's the Tag 
and Taganonok River in Brongai Mayo. And you can just see as I flew up towards the hills, big trees everywhere. Uh, there obviously was a lot of landslides, uh, some areas of the water shifted and just a lot of debris. As I carried up towards the hills there that would wind you towards uh, Tarragona, you could see a lot of landslides. And there's one section that was posted on Facebook, some images where the road actually just collapsed, uh, making it totally inaccessible for people to get uh, from Mati anywhere north in the province. There is an alternate route. I'm gonna head down through this barangay where I've never been actually along the ocean, kind of beautiful. And yeah, try and get through and up and about because it's been dry lately and uh, Attorney Vic, my friend, said it's okay to go. If it's heavy rain, supposedly this alternate route is just haggard difficult. I will say, uh, there's been a lot of earthquakes over the past year. There's been a lot of heavy rains and flooding. So, I mean, clearly a lot of the roads are just taking a beating, especially on the mountainsides. That's life in the Philippines and people just adapt to it and try and power on. So uh, it was kind of upsetting. I was always keeping in touch with friends here during the heavy floods, um, but to everybody who is getting involved in helping each other, you know, power on more props. And it's good to see the weather starting to, to totally change now. So let's knock on wood, no more rain coming. Barangay Mayo is quite big and has quite a bit going on. Okay, here we go, the dirty road up the mountainside. You can see right away how if it was raining, this would be absolutely brutal, almost impossible. Brad, and have one. I think too, since the road collapsed, uh, they've been sending a machinery and kind of flattening this down. Because as of right now, this is like the only route to get around, unless you're going to take a boat to Tarragona, Northern Davao Oriental. <laughs> a lot of people kind of walking up and down too. I would have given that guy a ride, but he's going the other way. Uh, you can see it's super dry, but look at this part's muddy. Mm. What was that? Oh. <laughs> Shout so out! Bad. Shout out! <laughs> Huh? Wensi Mangalan. Pangalan JR. So JR. Like, uh, from Karaga. Karaga. Mandayaka? Yes. Nice. Hain ka pasingod. Pakaraga ako pasingod. Ah, yes. Hain ka pakatail ka pasingod. Oh. <laughs> nice one, Brad. Okay. Rock and roll. Ride yes. safe, man. Ride safe, also. Ah, back in the Mandaya vibes. That was dope. Uh, he was going the other way around to Nabunturan, thinking he couldn't get up this way, but they've opened this up now, so. Even ba'o ba'o, like the little tricycles can make it. So you're good. If it's dry. Okay, this section gets, this section gets pretty gnarly. Uh -huh. If it was raining, no way to be hardcore. These guys are running up and down pushing people sometimes. What's up, Brad? Oh, you like go. Now I'm seeing that area where people were struggling. Grab it. Hey, yo. Hi, sir. <laughs> Big Brad. Hey, <laughs> What's up, man? Woo! You gotta appreciate the positive vibes of people. They have a big detour like that. Where they're just like, yeah, what's up? <laughs> hey, Skitchy! <laughs> hey. That's awesome! Woo! 
Oh man, imagine getting chased up the mountainside in that police bow bow. <laughs> Pretty much every couple hundred meters, massive landslides, road fallouts, areas you can tell were flooded. It's pretty bad, pretty intense. It's really the areas by cliffs or next to rivers uh, where you see a lot of the damage and the landfalls. I think there is even a bridge a while back up in Karaga somewhere in the Bukit area that completely collapsed as well. So been a really tough Emihan this year. Really, really bummer. Ganga Benignet, I'm almost home. If there is one thing I truly missed the past 37 days, it is this hot spring in Baganga. Yes. So many memories hearing this sound. Welcome back to the beach house. It's a late afternoon and it's so, so classic what you're gonna see. Check this out. How much of the whole structure have you done? Up and down. Up and down the whole thing? How much weight have you lost? I don't know. <laughs> Literally, the past few days, this is what Kumar has been up to. We call it Lampasso in Visaya. I think you can just call it Bunut in Tagalog, Giba. Right? No? I think, yeah, Pag Bubunut. Pag bu Pag what? Pag Bubunut. Pag Bubunut. No! But, the first time I was ever exposed to this, 2014, Alabat Island, Quezon. Myself and Kumar were randomly staying in an ancestral house. Check this out. You notice the technique too, you just get an old slipper and it allows you to slide more. Because if you go barefoot, it's a little bit... Sweat and breath. Morning. So, in case you're wondering, that's what Kumar's been up to. In the meantime, check this out. So Kumar's been rocking that and the ocean last month was rocking all the way up but not like that one wild year a couple years back. Uh, the water didn't come all the way up. It seems pretty tame. This is high tide right now 
and you can see we still have a solid you know 20 meters or so it's beautiful I don't know what it looks like at low tide though I'm not sure if I can run but yeah the sun is out it was raining the whole last month and even up until a few days ago Kumar sent me messages just saying rain 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 today I was gonna say, can you smell that? But I don't think you could smell anything through a camera. Freshly waxed Lampassode for the first time as well in a few years. The ah 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 frame is clean and organized. It's just the after a Mihan beginning of bring everything together. I wonder who owns this company, man. Where's it made? Marina? Oh, Columba City. No way. Just found out that star wax, the stuff that you apply, the colorless stuff, to wooden floors of the Lampasso, is made in Laguna. Shout out to everybody in Laguna. Yeah, I have a strange fascination with adding Chucky to coffee. Uh, started doing it many years ago. There's something weirdly comforting about it. I just love it. My life needs a little bit of organization, just like what's happening with the house, because I haven't been back here in a month. Um, that's what I'm doing right now. And the crazy part about it, not crazy part, I don't know, I just like that descriptive word, is I'm trying to reflect and write stories and edit, but also I have to go through my stuff and do life errands and figure things out. It's kind of like doing ninja moves. So let me do some for a while and I'll catch you later. I'm super emo right now, guys. Uh, I just finished editing the Sulu video, which if you watch my channel, you would have possibly have seen that already. Um, oh man, I'm just stoked. The tourism sec went to Sulu. You know, if you're a Filipino watching this, you can contact the tourism office. And it's a wonderful time to go learn about that part of your country, connect with the Taosugs, share education about who you are as well, and where you're from in the Philippines, and just grow the positive vibes. That's what's happening there, and it makes me so happy. And I get really emo about it, and everything you see on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram is 100% me reflecting on it. I edit it, I write it, it's real. And I am really inspired about this. Okay. The sun is going down and yeah. And I'm also inspired by my friends at the Tala Andig, Salima Saiwai, who made this amazing painting for me back in the day, who sits above where I had it and just reminds me of the beauty all around me. I'm into now, power on. If you don't do Paaso, the Lamak will get you. Fact. You know where we're going. Again. This is Ian from Davao. Funny enough, we met here last night, <laughs> yes. and then he came back again. <laughs> yeah. uh, he's been touring around with his family. Where'd you guys go today? Um, so we went to Bakulin Cove, uh, Pusan Bar, and um, 
Carolina. Nice, Lake Carolina. Yeah, yes. That's a good combo. <laughs> and I'm just curious, what do you think of the area? Oh, love it. And we'll be coming back end of the month. That's dope. <laughs> Actually, so the last month has been super tough uh, in regards to tourism here because it's been like crazy weather. Mm -hmm. So be like Iron, come visit Davo Oriental, bring your family. Yes. And enjoy. Because I think you were probably by yourself a lot of the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. So he got to enjoy a lot of the tourist spots alone. So we yeah. need more people. Come, yeah, come. visit, visit us here. Nice to see you, man. Enjoy your trip. Thank you. He's on a road trip all over Mindanao. Rock on. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> Thank you. Look at that hat. <laughs> <laughs> Not our dinner tonight. <laughs> We're not having quick, quick tonight, boys. <laughs> We're going to Delmar's. <laughs> Welcome back to Lambahon. Lambajon. Lambajon. Lambajon, Lambahon. <laughs> I thought we were having dinner. Yeah, it's, it's Friday night, so we have the. Appetite. Wait, is it actually Friday? No, it's, Thursday. it's Thursday! It's <laughs> Thursday! This is the, my favorite my favorite employee of the DSWD. No! Yes, number one, the best, this guy. Happy. Oh, wait, no, I mean. It. Oh! Uh, ah, whatever, man, you're working hard. <laughs> What's happening in my house? It's not, it's, 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 uh, I don't know, it's a bad spirit or it's wak wak. I don't know, but the, my feeling is my, the energy is, oh shit. What the fuck is the wak wak? Why, because, because I was gone for so long? Wak wak, oh shit. Rob, what's up, Rob? Shouting at them. Shouting at them. If you didn't know, uh, Jong. Sir Jong was at our house quite a few times during all the stuff last month. Just to check up and hang out with Rafi. And he's telling me stories about walk walks in my house. So. Yeah. Is it true, Tinod? Yeah, I feel something. True? I feel, I feel, I feel something in your house. <laughs> no painter, no painter. It's like a 